and welcome to the second episode of the Marxism Today podcast. I'm your host, my name is Nate, and I'll be leading you through the podcast today. Today's podcast is on the idea of materialism. In Marxism, materialism means something very different from the common use of the word. When it's used today in common uh, language, it means something like consumerism, that uh, someone is materialistic, meaning that they want material items and that's all they care about. When we use the term materialism with Marxism, it's going to mean something completely different. It's a philosophical term. It's the opposite of idealism, which isn't going to clear things up because philosophical idealism is very different from the meaning of idealism as we use it in common language today. First, we'll start with idealism and then we'll work into my t materialism. Idealism in the philosophical sense means that you believe that the world of ideas comes before the material world. This has a long tradition in philosophy, and it basically comes out of the idea that, that all we have of the world is our perceptions. And so our perceptions make our reality. If I think something is there, then for me it is there. Okay, that's the idea of idealism. It's if your ideals are such or your ideas are such that something is so, well then your material world will also be that way or whatever you experience as a material world will be that way. For example, if you thought that you could fly, then you would be able to because all that limits you is just your ideas and conceptions of the world. And if you could believe strongly enough that there was a jelly donut in front of you, then there would be one. That's the idealist uh, philosophy. So this is starkly different from the materialist philosophy. Materialism, of course, takes the opposite approach. It says that there is a material world out there. There are atoms and matter, and that your body and my body are not just manifestations of what my ideas of what my body are, but that it's a real thing put together with real atoms, real molecules, and that it really exists, and that our perception of it is based on that reality. Perceptions can sometimes be wrong, but... In general, they are based on a material, objective world. So, if uh, from our previous example, if someone came up to a materialist and said, I believe I can fly, therefore I can fly, the materialist would say, well, no, you can't. Your belief doesn't make it so. You're crazy. You can only fly if you have the material reality for flying. In other words, if you have wings or something like that, then you can fly. A materialist might go on to say, well, if you can fly, then go ahead and try to. And if we see that in this real material world you fly, then you can fly. Your perceptions don't make you fly. It's the material reality that you then perceive if you can fly, then you see that you can fly. Materialism takes the opposite causal relationship that idealism takes. Idealism says, because you believe, then it is so. And materialism says, because it is so, you think it's so. Another example would be, I hear the phone ring. A materialist would say, the phone is actually ringing, that's why you're hearing it ring. An idealist would say, you imagine the phone to be ringing, so therefore the phone for you is ringing. If it sounds like materialism is the normal way to see the world, or the most common way, or if it seems like idealism 
comes off as sounding crazy, that's that's normal because in our world today, we largely live in a materialist world, in a world where people believe in a material reality. That's the most common way to see things. So Marxism is not out of the ordinary when it comes to this particular stance or when it comes to this particular part of it. A lot of people take the same stance. If you're familiar with Ayn Rand and her objectivism, uh, it's the same idea that the material world reality is um, comes first. The biggest challenge to this today, the, the biggest group of people that form the idealist tradition tend to be religious people. And that's not to say that all religious people are idealists. I, that's not true, and there are plenty of religious people who tend to be either somewhere in the middle or maybe even more towards the materialist side. But out of the people who are idealist, it seems to me that the majority of them are approaching their idealism through a religious stance. So when we talk about Marxist analysis, we're always going to be approaching any topic from a materialist standpoint. Now, I need to elaborate a little bit on Marx's materialism because it's going to be a little bit different, and there's a lot of things to say here. I'll just cover some of them today. Marx's materialism isn't always about looking at the matter of the world, the material objects. The thing that Marx often looks at is the material social relations. In other words, the way society is divided up amongst real living people in that society. So, for example, we'll take a feudal society. A king has certain material social relations different than that of a peasant. So he really controls a lot more than a peasant. He has a lot more power than a peasant, and he fills a different social role than that peasant. But there's no material thing that makes him a king. I guess there's a crown and all of those things, but you can't point to something... uh, innate to him as a person that makes him the king. So Marx's materialism looks at the way social relations crop up in the material world. So it's a little bit removed from the grubbiest kind of materialism. He isn't looking just at the objects. He's looking at how the objects, the people relate to one another, how people relate to objects, and how people relate to other people. So this is going to be the materialist stance that we use when we use Marxist theory to understand the world. I think that'll wrap it up for today's episode. Uh, So we've got materialism down. Pretty soon we'll talk about the dialectic and we can show how Marx put together his own philosophical contribution, which is dialectical materialism, uh, which will be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up very soon. See you next time.